Hello Libra, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Hmm, I feel like I'm getting karma for running from you. Straight away I just kind of feel like the Divine Masculine's here. Um, just things aren't going very well for them and it's a bit like tower moment after tower moment I feel like um just feeling like everything in their life is going a bit wrong and it's because something isn't right you know they are, have been running and so yeah their life's not going right it's <clears throat> an interesting card broken glass I kind of feel it's a bit like frustration anger frustration um at themselves not you you know from running from you um for not doing right by you and i literally feel like some of them have in anger like smashed something like smashed a glass or you know <laughs> i'm seeing an image of someone throwing something at a mirror Some of them could be heavily drinking here, I feel. Kind of self-medicating. Maybe some of you here are dealing with a Divine Masculine who does um, have drinking issues. Oh, I didn't realise my phone is dying here. I hope it lasts, guys. I never check. Um, but guys, just take the messages as, as they resonate for you. If they don't, toss it, you know. Um... If, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, you're more than welcome to book a personal reading with me. You'll find all the details of how to book in the description box below the video. And that way you can just get messages that are only for you. This is general, obviously. Oh yeah, see, look, anger. I knew it. Um, real deep-seated anger I'm just getting. And it, and it is tied in with frustration at themselves. You know, it's like... Especially because they want to be with you so badly, but they've been running, you know, and it's not really from you in a sense, although, you know, you are one soul as a twin flame, but it's running from themselves, you know, and, and they're angry. I just don't want my family to think I'm a bad guy. Interesting. <clears throat> I kind of feel some of you here um, may be dealing with a Divine Masculine who was already involved in a commitment um, with a karmic person, either like just long-term relationship or marriage here. So I feel like some of them try to resist you um you know because they don't want to they didn't really think they'd ever be in that position where they're thinking of like leaving you know a marriage or long-term commitment here so they've kind of been resisting so that you know they don't look like a bad guy that will just be for some of you I'm also getting with that, um, some of them have kind of <laughs> said to their family, you know, if, if, if you know their family, um, I'm hearing the word crazy, like, oh, you know, no, 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 they're just crazy. Like, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. It's like kind of trying to hide what, what they've done. Um, to you from their family so making it look like no you're you're the crazy one like oh no you know um just hiding things have done it really was me not you it really was me running from you <laughs> running from myself not you i'm just doing what i have to do right now now i always feel with that card it's such a kind of glum card you know it's not like oh i'm really happy and i'm just you know living my life right now it's like oh 
I'm just doing what I have to do right now. Like, you know, if anyone, <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> I'm seeing this. If anyone from the UK, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a British thing, used to watch Raggy Dolls. <laughs> this cartoon, this kid's cartoon. There's a character in it called Sad Sack, and that's literally what I'm seeing and, and hearing. Like, he used to say everything in such a glum tone, like, mm. <laughs> That's literally what I'm seeing. Or, you know, like, Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Like, just <laughs> random, but yeah. <laughs> I was reminded of your scent recently. So... Some of you have like a really distinctive perfume, could be like your hair, um, the shampoo you use, you know, just do something that kind of triggered like smell is a really big thing uh, for memories for people. You know, it brings back a lot of like nostalgic thoughts. Somebody here might even have, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of like random imagery and stuff today but um there's this perfume apparently that rihanna wears and she smells amazing everyone says and i saw it in, like people talking about it on tiktok um and it's by i think it's a brand killian and i can't remember the name of it um but literally i was like searching for it and then everyone was talking about a dupe for this scent and even the dupe is sold out i mean i can't remember what it's called guys Four, 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 something. I don't know. I don't know. But guys, um, let me know <laughs> if anyone knows where to get that. But honestly, maybe somebody watching here wears like that scent or something. Random. I don't think you can take your reaction right now. And that's underneath that. I just don't want my family to think I'm a bad guy. So I just feel there's been some issues here um where they've tried to blame you in some kind of way to their family um and it could even be something they did to you and they're saying you did it to them and i don't know what that is but that's just what i'm getting won't be for everyone loves obviously but that's what i'm getting um yeah And guys, if you like these readings, if you enjoy my readings and you want to support my work, join me on Patreon. I'm really trying to build that up, guys. And, and at some point, probably most of my content will be on Patreon just because it's like really secure. You know, there's no trolls there. It's kind of like a safe space. <laughs> um, and also, you know, YouTube just depends on your luck with the algorithm if, if videos do well and things so sometimes like you know there's just videos that have really important messages but people never really see but you know patreon it's just you know all there um it's patreon.com forward slash queen diane tons of content on there loves so you can unlock all the old stuff i've, I've got i've got up there i mean i think i've got like 60 videos or something already up there but check it out guys um you can have access to all my extended zodiac readings and lots of just love readings like this as well and early access check it out lovelies our connection still affects me but also guys like if you don't want to join patreon just to even like help support my work on here if you please could give me a like, a thumbs up, leave me a comment um, and subscribe if you haven't because that really helps the algorithm. So it helps to circulate the video around YouTube. Um, but yeah, guys, leave me a comment about my my channeled um, Divine Masculine love letter I posted a few days ago because everyone seemed to really enjoy it. I'm sorry if I made you cry. <laughs> with it so i was kind of crying doing, doing the editing um but leave me a comment if you'd like me to do another one of those like so i know and leave me a comment and i'll try and get one up this week um our connection still affects me so i mean 
the fact that they are so angry at themselves, you know, obviously the connection still affects um, them. And I think there are, for a lot of them, of this kind of thread of them kind of making you out to look like the sort of bad person. And honestly, maybe they made you out to be a bit crazy to their family. Like they're, I was going to swear there. <laughs> Try not to swear on YouTube. They're effing angry at themselves for doing that. You're an angel. Oh, guys, follow me on TikTok, speaking of that. Um, if you haven't, I'm on there. It's Queen Diane 222 and so is my Instagram. Give me a follow. I can't handle your words right now. Yeah, see, look. I don't think I can take your reaction right now. I can't handle your words right now. This, this person's, yeah, hiding here. They've been running. They've been hiding. They are afraid to look you in the eyes, I just heard. Yeah, you know, they're scared. My mind and heart always comes back to you. That's the thing, guys. I mean, you are one soul, so your energy is just completely inter intertwined with each other. So, um, you know, that, that never goes away. Um, so they can run, but it won't work, you know, like... <laughs> That Fuji song, you know, you can run. What was it, ready or not? You can't hide, you can't run, or whatever it is. I'm gonna find you. It just, you know, it doesn't work for them. They soon realize that we will be together again. So they even know that. Hmm. So although they may be putting off communicating with you or having some real deep conversations about the situation, like just know there's a lot going on internally, like mentally for this person. Um, and you know, <laughs> the end result is, okay, they might be kind of putting it off for now, but they, they have the intention of fixing this and, and being together again. I hide my tears from you. Um, you know, a lot of hiding here, <laughs> this person's doing. A lot of mask wearing. Um, but yeah, see, they've been crying over this, okay? Um, and I feel like a lot of you have probably never seen your divine masculine cry and like i'm just getting like you may even think they're just not the type of person that would cry you know there's you know just some people just don't really cry they 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 are and they've been hiding that you get me so hot Ooh. Let's get two more from our Divine Feminine's watching. Mm, okay. Okay. What? <laughs> I think three came out. Three came out. Oh, good God. Divine Masculine. Divine Masculines here are being quite hard on themselves. Um, you're too good for me. I'm a loser. So there's clearly... Um, deep self-confidence issues here and relapse okay so you know I mentioned the drinking here um you know overindulging I do I do feel this is more a substance so drinking drugs something like that here um you may find that's why your divine masculine um you know has been running and has been like hiding from you um, and not kind of really wanting to look you in the eye um, because there may be an issue with you know whatever their addiction is resurfacing there hmm I'm going to get some lovers oracles 
Let me just see if we get anything else from this before we move on. You know, the thing is, this person here, or this, this group of masculines, um, are really deeply insecure. I just feel there's an issue here with family. It could be friends. I feel like it's more family, though. Where that insecurity... Um, and not feeling good enough to accept your love. There's just an issue here of making... Making you out to... I'm not sure how to word this, guys. It's like kind of saying to people, oh, no, this isn't really, um, you know, a big deal, this connection. Like trying to minimise it. Minimise it. That's what it is. Try to minimise the connection for some reason. And that's only going to be for a few of you, I feel. But it's just like playing it down to everyone else and, and kind of like you said like making you look like you know a bit crazy like because of their own issues you know it's not you it's them playing it down so like you know things obviously were really strong between you going quite hot and heavy and then they've kind of turned around and made it look to other people like oh well I'm you know I'm sorry if she thinks it's something more than it is. Do you know what I mean? Like that type of energy. And you're just like, what? <sighs> like I say, that might only resonate with a couple of people, but I've got to say it. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So kind of just letting this connection ebb and flow naturally. So if this person is running, and they're being distant and everything, just give them that space and just let them get on with it, loveies. Just get them, yeah, let them get on with it and sort themselves out before they can come back to you. Um, you know, in a better energy. Reflection. Oh, see, again about space here. Give each other space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Um, yeah, so there's just been a real big message about just, I just don't feel this group are in a good space mentally at all. So yeah, just, I give them space and they're going to do all this deep reflection, you know, um, in this kind of separation. That's when the Divine Masculines do the most work. So, uh, advice here, let this person kind of like go away stew on things themselves and and in the end you know they'll end up doing the deep kind of inner reflection but i really do feel they need space at the moment um you know even reflection it's reminding me of this this broken glass because i keep seeing an image of a mirror so honestly i'm, I'm getting this person could even look in the mirror and say things like this to themselves. I'm a loser, you know, I'm nothing. Like, ooh, it's just not, not great. You know, I just don't feel like they're in a great space, as I said, like a little bit kind of in trouble, you know, uh, but that's, you know, they, they've got to be on their own to do this shadow work the shadow reflection but just know you know even if you haven't spoken to this person for a while try not to take it personally you know mind and hearts always with you we'll be together again it's just that they need some space right now um so guys i really hope this resonated